Uh, my name is Addie Kitchen. I'm Stephen Taylor's grandmother. Uh, I raised Stephen from the time he was about eight. Stayed with me until he was about 22 or 23. The only difference that me not being his mom is that I didn't birth him, but I raised him and he knew how much I loved him. I think when he got to about the fourth grade, uh, we realized that he was ADHD. So that was his real big issue all the way through high school, was focusing. But he really wasn't a bad kid. He didn't fight. The guy was very, very bright. He could look at something and fix it. His mother came back into his life and they lived together and I think that's where the breakdown came because she was still using drugs and he was using drugs and it just didn't work out. Probably by the time he was 30, he became homeless because he couldn't live with me because he was using drugs. His mom had got into a program and I begged him and begged him, you know, Stephen, please get yourself in a program so that I can help you if you want my help. He says, I don't need your help. I'm not asking you for your help. I love you, Granny, but this is my life. The picture that they sent me with him bleeding to death on this dirty floor in Walmart by himself was more than I could even imagine. And I try to wash it out of my brain, but it's still there. You st I still see it. Um, I have problems sleeping at night. I have problems eating. I have my good days and my bad days. I have black days and light days. Uh, sometimes it's just overwhelming to believe that police would shoot him or any other human being like that. And I keep saying being black, being homeless, being having mental issues, is that a reason to execute someone? I mean, is that what we do to people? Do we murder people because they're homeless because they're black. That's exactly what happened. Uh, my understanding is that the police was in there less than 60 seconds and shot him. There was no de-escalation. Nobody tried to help him. And that's what I would like to see done in all of the cities throughout the country is learning how to de-escalate because we have such a large population of homeless people. and. They have issues, they have issues. So we need to know how to deal with them without killing them. Treat them like they're human beings. And I think that would uh, curtail a lot of the uh, instances where uh, people are being murdered by the police. I'd hate to think that Stephen uh, died in vain, uh, that we'd be able to get them to understand that there are other ways to deal with people that have uh, mental issues. And uh, I think de-escalation is very important and mental health is also very, very important. When I moved out of San Leandro and left him, I felt that I had abandoned him. And I have to continue to tell myself that I really didn't, that he was an adult. And uh, there really wasn't anything that I could do to change uh, who he was. And uh, so I'm fighting myself every day, telling myself that, uh, I don't think there would have been anything I could have done to keep him from being murdered. Say his name, Stephen Taylor. Say his name, Stephen Taylor. Black Lives Matter. Stephen Taylor, say his name. Say his name, Stephen Taylor. Stephen Taylor, say his name. Justice for Stephen Taylor. Justice for Stephen Taylor, say his name, Stephen Taylor. Stephen Taylor, Stephen Taylor.